Alrighty, so we're gonna do a normal run. Which ship do I think is stronger? This guy's got clone bay. I think we, I think this ship is probably. Hmm. Lanius is gonna give us some blue options. We have clone bay. It's only two weapon power. Hey, what's up, Contasol? This actually is tough to me. I don't know which one I feel like is stronger. Probably Kestrel A is stronger. So let's go normal difficulty, Kestrel A, for our 3 for 3 challenge. Let's do it. Yeah. So, talking about my uh, my opinion on which ship's stronger, I feel like those are pretty close in power. But because this ship has three weapon power, and then Burst Laser and Artemis are both really good weapons. I think it's a little bit stronger than the Kestrel C. I don't think it's a lot stronger, but I think it's a little bit stronger. Rename the ship the Enterprise. Only that way you'll have the strongest ship. Okay. Wow, what a deal. Burst Jump, a defense drone bribe. Huh. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Burst Laser 2 and Artemis. <clears throat> One of the strongest starting ship weapons systems in the game, I would say. Okay. Man, I'm going to get spoiled playing on normal and easy occasionally, for sure, guys. <laughs> Sam and Steve. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to stream, my friend. Speaking of strong early game weapon systems, that's actually really good, too. No slacking, though. No slacking. All right. No slacking. Wow, look at those dodges. My my freaking GM foe over here is not slacking. <laughs> the Enterprise gets wrecked all the time. I guess they always build another or pull through, though. Okay. <laughs> it's true. All right. Um, no slacking, only flacking. Man, if only I could flackening every time. Let's do that. Okay, very nice. Ooh, Okay. Two stores this sector. All right, let's save some scrap and see if we can get an early good weapon or long-range scanners. Just ask, Die Hard 2. If you want to be a member of the crew, just ask. Okay. Seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Mm. Well, that quest is in a terrible location, so we will be skipping that. One million bits per naming. That is not correct. <laughs> That is not correct. Imagine if flak was the only weapon. It is the only weapon in my heart. Can I be a dirty human? All right, we Titans. I'll get you and... Die hard if you want to be a crew member. You only have one choice. Human or human. Just so you know. Uh, okay. Well, or <laughs> Mantis. I guess you have two choices now. All right. Titans, you already asked for humans, so no changes. No take backs. We Titans 3. Is that a reference to something? That seems like... Isn't there a football movie called Remember the Titans or something? Uh, can I be a mantis if you find one? All right. Good timing, King JJC. You really like your mantids. You do love Star Trek, though. What a great show. Hmm. Can I be the Lanius for NGC, or for EZC next run? Sure. Sure, you can be the uh, the Mantis. You're, I mean, the uh, Lanius. Remind me. Remind me, because I will forget by the end of this run. And if I even get that run. You know what I should do? I should try to do these runs faster on the easier difficulties. I should actually try to do them faster if I can. Diggle time. I don't have an NG. Please, please restrict your asking to be a crew. To a time when I actually have that crew. I'm not going to remember if you ask now and I get an NG three sectors later. You're going to have to... You're going to have to ask when I have a crew that you can actually be. Okay. Let's do that. Thank you for not hitting my weapons. Dibs on first rock crew. Okay. Okay. 
do 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 Okay, I only have seven missiles, so I need to be fairly efficient and sustainable. We must be sustainable in our missiles. One, two, three, four, five. So I guess we'll check both stores here. You remember to remind me? Great. Remember to remind to remember to remind. So I could have got second shield, but being a little greedy with scrap because... Excuse me. We got two stores, Sector 1. Wow, that was some really good dodges. Could you maybe not dodge so well? You have thunder like crazy outside. I like the rain. Okay, could you maybe not run too? That's kind of rude. Although we've been having some crazy storms in Dallas over the last couple um, months, I guess. Okay, if he doesn't repair it in time, I can kill him with burst laser. I'm going to see if I need to Artemis here. Again, I'm going to greed. Greed is good. Kept an extra missile there. Got one back. Nice. Two, three, four. So I get two stores and one ship fight, or one store and two ship fights. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'd rather get more scrap. Oh, I have that free defense drone, too. We'll go for one store and two ship fights. Holy cow, not raining yet, but it's black outside. Wow. Okay. All right, go for weapons here. Deep Space Nine is what brings more memories. Yeah, what's funny is, for me, the Star Wars... Uh, crap. Ouch. Star Wars. Star Trek. I'm more of a Star Wars fan, if you can't tell, because I immediately go to Star Wars. But, um, I watched, like, Star Trek movies of the original cast, and then more Deep Space Nine, probably, than, like, Next Generation. Double reward. Beautiful. But if I were to go back and watch, probably Next Generation would be the one I'd go back and watch. DS9 was the best of the series so far, in your opinion? We all know Stargate is better. <laughs> The movie Stargate I liked a lot. I'd never watched enough of the TV show to get really strong opinion either way. Well, Star Wars and Star Trek, you just love space stuff, yeah. Well, I used to love Star Wars. The I talked about this yesterday. The new series just, oh my god, just kill me now. Okay, well, um, all right, let's get early early missile defense. You have a you have a defense drone, right? Yeah. So I don't want double defense drone because that's We've tried that, and it's bad. Let's do that, and now work towards our second shield here. There is a challenge this run. Yes, we are doing a kind of a mini streak challenge uh, QI code. Basically, we need to do all three types of each ship in a row without losing, but we get to choose one on hard, one on medium, and one on easy. That is our challenge for this this next series of challenges. So basically, we choose which one's the hardest and then make our choice on which ship we do based on that. I was think I'm thinking of doing an RPG campaign based on the FTL universe. Oh, that's cool. You never seen the new Star Wars movies? My innocent childhood Star Wars experience hasn't been tainted yet. Well, you're lucky. Some people apparently like them, but I just... The first one I thought... The first of the new trilogy I thought was not bad. It seemed kind of generic, like a remake of... Basically a remake of New Hope is what a lot of people are calling it. Second one, just absolutely hated because they destroyed the character of Luke Skywalker, in my opinion. And in the opinion of most original Star Trek fans, I think. Oh, there's the NG. Okay. Who wanted to be the NG? There was somebody and... I already forgot who. Do we die for a quest? No, this is too good a start. Pirate over Zoltan for sure. You got to go, Goofy Soccer. Good luck with the runs. All right, Goofy Soccer. Well, thank you for the uh, challenge idea. I appreciate it, and I hope we'll see you again soon, my friend. Have a good one. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did uh, the started with the Kestrel B and got a hard mode run. Once run, so we're in the middle of the streak on this ship now. 
Okay, we can take no damage if we have two shields here. I'm going to be uh, greedy and not use a missile here. Diggle time, was it you who wanted to be the NG? It was a New Hope remake, and yeah, the second one kind of sucked for that reason. What a garbage way to deal with Luke. Yes, I, I just, I think, I think Luke was completely crapped on. And I've watched a lot of YouTube videos to kind of like, you know, understand what they did that bothered me so much. I already, I already knew that I didn't like what they did with the character of Luke, but I, I like to like read critiques and like people who are movie buffs who can kind of elucidate and enunciate the things that bother me. I have to win them all in a row. So if I lose this one or the next one, I have to start over, basically. You want to be the pilot, Contasul? Okay. So Diggle Time, NG, Contasul, pilot. All right. Got to drink that creamy Space Ghost milk. Oh, my God. Space Ghost? Space Goat? Okay. All righty. So let's get Diggle Time, the NG. <laughs> it sounds... What, what are you doing to that, NG? It's it, Diggle time. What? Diggle time. All right. And, uh, Contasul. Contasul, the filthy, stinking human. Is it restart the ship set or the entire of the challenge? No, the entire, the entire set of ships. It's not a streak challenge if I can just restart the streak or if I don't lose the streak if I lose a run. I don't know if I said that correctly, but yeah. It's, it's basically, since I don't really like to do streak challenges, this is probably about the closest I would do to a streak challenge, basically. Alright, we'll just get a defense drone up, because this guy can't shoot it down. Do, 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 do. You feel like the new Star Wars just made the Force like a God Mode activator instead of an extra sense-like ability? Well, yeah, that was one of the things that bothered me about the new Star Wars 2. There are a lot of things, but I feel like it's inconsistent with the rest of the movies about what the Force can do. Like this whole, you know, um, Ray and um, what's his face being able uh, Ray and what's the bad guy? I already forgot his freaking name that I... Uh, they can, like, just communicate across the galaxy for whatever reason. Kylo, yeah. Ray and Kylo Ren could just talk through their minds from forever far away because they have a connection through the Force. Really? What connection? You haven't explained that. There's no reason they should have this connection unless you're going to reveal something, but they don't reveal anything because there's no consistency between the movies because they got different directors writing each movie. So it's like, okay, I just gave away my missiles. I need to find a weapon. Solo Sun. Yeah, uh, I have plenty of fuel. Oh, that's good. It's a 5G connection. Basically, when you want on hard, you can chill for easy and normal unless FTL screws you over. Well, I can't chill too much because me chilling out on normal or, hard or normal and easy is when I lose these runs probably. So, uh, But there's that. Um, the whole fact that... I mean, this is, this is one of the biggest criticisms of both these new Star Wars trilogy movies is the fact that with zero training, um, Ray can best Kylo Ren in a in a in a Star War, in a in a in a mind duel thing and also a lightsaber duel. No 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 Jedi in the history of Star Wars, even frickin' uh, Anakin Skywalker, the chosen one, could could beat a Jedi with training with a lightsaber the first time he picked up a lightsaber. It's just stupid. It makes no freaking sense. It just it doesn't it doesn't make sense from a story mode. It doesn't make from a story uh, perspective. It doesn't make sense from uh, what we know about Jedi in the past. There's just so much crap that makes no sense, and there's no reason for it. Even Luke lost to Vader first, and he had uh, yeah, and he had some training with uh, Obi Wan before that. Uh, what's her face? Ray had literally zero training before she met before she met Kylo Ren. And beats him in both him trying to invade her mind and she finds out stuff from him and in a lightsaber fight. It just, it makes, it makes zero sense. 
It was her destiny to be able to defeat Kylo. That is that is such a cop out answer. It was it was freaking Anakin Skywalker's destiny to bring balance to the Force, but he couldn't. He couldn't. He didn't know what to do with a lightsaber before he ever picked it up. Someone had dibs on Rock Crew. That's right, BJ. There we go, BJ. BJA69. <laughs> Alrighty. She was kind of good at fighting with a staff before she found out about the Jedi. Yeah, but why? Why was she good at fighting with a staff? Who trained her? We don't know. I mean, we got to have some sort of history behind these people if we're going to believe that they have these amazing skills. Holy crew, Batman. Holy crew. Still, if you're a little good with a staff, using a lightsaber that has no weight and also is a single blade at the... It's just... To be able to beat somebody who has had years and years of training, you're not going to convince me that that makes sense. It just doesn't. Can I be this NG? Okay, Ninja Kiwi, sure. <laughs> most recent Star Wars is the only one you've seen, and apparently it's the worst one. Yes, that's the one I hate the most. I mean, going into it cold, you might like it more than people like me who grew up watching Luke Skywalker and thinking he was the coolest hero ever. Uh, store with 72 scrap. I have Artemis to sell. I do need to find a weapon. It's her ability since she was born, I presume. I can't find another explanation because there isn't one. Because I don't give one. That's why people call her a Mary Sue. Uh, no weapons. A Mary Sue in a movie is a character who has whatever tools she needs to defeat to, to beat every challenge thrown at her and has, doesn't have to try at all. So, um, I mean, hacking would be good, but I don't really have the drone parts and I have to sell something. So, but not getting a weapon. We could run out of offense coming up pretty soon here. Star Wars as a whole confused me. The plot was so interweaved on itself that it was hard to understand. Are you talking about the new ones or like even the original trilogy? Because the plot's usually not very convoluted for Star Wars movies. There's a big bad guy. You kill him in a bunch of space battles. That's, that's basically the plot of every Star Wars movie. Everything, really. Well, it, it's more convoluted if you don't start with the original. So you should probably just... I think there's um, recommended viewing orders of all the Star Wars movies that have been posted back when the prequels were out anyway to be like... So you don't learn all the stuff and everything. So see, it was a victory. Yes, bacon fries. Star Wars arc there where Sith Lord is mind wiped by the Jedi and they try to reform him. Um... There's lots of Star Wars arcs like that in all the extended universe. I don't know if you're talking about a specific one or what, Cajun. thing that made you so mad in the new movie is when Leia was able to save herself in deep open ocean space. Yeah. Deep open space. Yeah. 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 Super Superman or super, super woman Leia is just another stupid thing in the movie. It just makes no sense. I mean, sure. Leia, we know she's, like, Force-sensitive. And if you go by the Extended Universe, she actually does get training from Luke. However, there's none of that in this movie. Or anything in the in the new movies that would suggest that she has any training. She doesn't have any abilities other than sensing stuff. And then all of a sudden she can survive in a vacuum and fly back home into a ship after explosion. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Oh, did... Okay, you just missed for no reason, but then so did the missile. That was weird. Are you talking about Knights of the Old Republic? Yeah, I, I I, don't think Knights of the Old Republic is considered canon, is it? I don't, rem I can't remember what they are allowed to call canon and what's not canon anymore. I just can't keep track of it all. Something about Leia having that ability in Episode 6. QL, QL code. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, so you mean you're, they're going to retroactively explain why she could do that? Great. Nothing like retroactively explaining bad writing in a, in a follow-up movie. That's when you know your movie's written well. <laughs> you see how I'm bitter about this? Uh, the... Okay, we have lots of scrap, but no weapon. Uh, NG controlled. Okay, NG controlled. Just give me a weapon here. 
You watched the prequel episodes of Star Wars first. I watched episode one, the cinema, and the one kid was so annoying because he laughed at every single thing Jar Jar Binks said. <laughs> worst character ever invented. Nice, Ninja Kiwi. Yeah, Jar Jar Binks is still considered one of the worst Star Wars characters ever. Uh, I can't really do that if I'm about to not have any offense. Okay. If I get a weapon here and sell the missile, I will be sad that I didn't do that trade. But there's no weapon. So I'm not that sad I didn't do that trade. My favorite theory is the Darth Jar Jar fan theory. Yeah, that one's pretty crazy. I, I think I've watched the video for that. Wow, I cannot get offense, man. Well, this is how I lose this streak. Not getting a weapon. Um... Maybe get mind control. I still leaves me about 50 scrap. Scrap. Is that my last system? No. I think I might get mind control. That will help me at least deal with borders and if they'd like dodge a bunch of my stuff. So I'm going to grab that. Attack drone. I have nine drone parts and I have... I, I don't like doing that when I'm low on drone parts. I don't like going in on offensive drones, especially when our weapons don't really support that that well. Okay, but this guy is not very strong, so we should be fine here. So we can now do this. Might, might be able to even get a crew kill using this. Okay, that's a, that's a fire, uh, fire bomb. All right, only single fire, that's good. Mind control is very helpful in the flagship phase three. Oh, I I like flag I like mind control in a lot of cases. Like getting a free hull repair after a mind uh, after a crew kill from just getting their crew to kill each other. <laughs> it's head cannon for me. Are you talking about the Darth Jar Jar fan theory is head cannon for you? That in your in your mind, Jar Jar actually is a Darth. Sith Lord or something. Oh, this is a... What? How does that not connect? That's one of the closest I've seen that don't connect in a while. That's kind of crazy. Okay. All right. Well, then let's go this way. I have eight jumps here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Uh, reminds me, I haven't played FTL the past few days and haven't tried level three mind control Mantis yet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. He's got a defense drone. Huh. I'm not sure I'm going to kill this guy or if I'm going to be able to kill this guy. I basically... Oh, if I get... Mm, I want to get the defense drone offline so I can shoot in an Artemis at him. Wow. Zero dodges for us. It's okay. All right, we got the defense drone offline. Perfect. Oh, and then he dodges my missile. I hate this game. Okay. All right, it's fine. It's fine. We have a fire in there. And we have mind control. That's a good dodge. There we go. Now if we get one of these weapons offline, we should... Well, we got the base or basic... First laser two offline, which we did not. Avoid taking damage. All right, they're low. How can I get the crew kill here without taking more damage? Um, that does two damage. Either way, it's going to be two damage. Let's do it without using a missile since I have three freaking missiles left. Okay, there we go. What happens to the Amazon Prime Mandalorian series? Amazon Prime Mandalorian series? I have not heard of that. You did a level 3 mind control on Mantis. It was killing guys in a level 2 med bay. Wow, that's awesome. Alright, we're going to kind of wait this out. I don't think we can get the crew kill unless he gets really low and they get in the same room and I can kill him with one laser shot. So basically now I need them to be in the same room and then do one laser shot and I can maybe get the uh, crew kill here. If another room doesn't burn down, that is.
But he has to be below 15 health for that. So, this should make them fight. There, that should do it. Got it! <laughs> nice. Get that crew kill. All this talk makes me want to play some KOTOR. <laughs> I did stream KOTOR one time. That's uh, Clay Mandel's favorite game ever. Clay Mandel's a huge Star Wars nut. Like, absolutely huge Star Wars nut. Apparently a big enough Star Wars nut to like the new Star Wars movies, which I just don't understand. Let them suffocate? Um, that might have been a possibility, but the fire could have spread, but we're good. Yeah, this blue option doesn't do anything. This would be my last missiles, so I can't do this. Again, probably store right after. Okay, no store right after. Okay. Yes! Weapon floating in space. That's what I needed. Um, that is what I needed. Power... Do I want to get the Artemis online as well? I kind of don't want to use missiles at all anymore, so I can maybe swap around if I need to. Let's get one more dodge and power, so I have power to float around here. One, two, three, four, five. You just finished the comparison video, just need to render and upload it now. Nice, Desert Eagle. Okay, cool. You'll have to uh, link it in the chat once... Uh, do I shoot down this hacking? Please just don't hit my weapons. Definitely have to link it in chat once you get it done. I wanna, I'm going to want to check this out. So I'm excited about the new Respawn Star Wars game. I don't know what that is. Respawn Star Wars game. Nice. We now have mind control. So let's do that on the weapons guy. You're in the middle of editing your own. Oh, apparently we're going to have multiple videos learning how to <laughs> hack the most efficiently or whatever. All right, can I crew kill here? 100 health, probably not. And I'm not patient. Is the video about the hacking thing? I think so. I think that's what we're doing. This respawn in relation with Star Wars sounds similar with the reborn thingy. She took two clips and added a timer. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll check it out. Respawn is the studio. Fallen Order is the new game. Okay, I will watch that video later. Cool. Do, 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 do. do I have? Do I need to move any crew around? I think we're good. All right, so I'm hoping for a store somewhere. One, two, three, four. I don't know which way it's going to be, so I'll have to miss a jump. If it's not in the right place. You're playing the clips side by side. Oh, that's a good way. I'd like to see both your guys' uh, way of doing that. I am not... I mean, I have a lot of crew. Uh, just don't do giant and spiders if you don't have a blue option for it. Or the clone beta protected from it. Stun bomb. Okay. Damn, I was really hoping for a store here. I only saw one store this NG sector. I think... All the stores must have been down here where I couldn't go. Great game. Respawn is the company that made Apex Legend, Legends and Titanfall. Ah. Oh. Interesting, then. What what genre is this Star Wars game, then? Oh, this is a great deal, actually, right as we're running out of fuel. All right, Zoltan. Do, 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 do. Okay, do we want to go into just the nebula all over the place? Oh, wait, that's kind of a dead end, so no, we will not go to the nebula. Do the boarding and anti-personnel drones share blue options? I think it's only anti-personnel drone for the giant alien spiders. I don't think boarding drone, or if they both give one, I think anti-personnel gives a better one or something like that. All right, half fuel. Okay, small bombs. A good one power weapon. To trap Nebula, it is. It's also a trap giving away my fuel, but I fell into the trap. You think boarding works too? I'm pretty sure one of them is better than the other, though, and I think I think the anti personnel gives you a better reward.
not 100% on that. Somebody else might be able to... Crap. Uh, I was late. I... Oh, God damn it. I've done this a lot lately where I... I get the power available, but then I forget to actually turn the goddamn thing on. Freaking misplays, man. Well, good thing we're playing on normal mode where hashtag never punished. No surrender. Wasted the drone part, too. They said even non-gamers would like the game. <laughs> well, they said even non-Star Wars fans would like the new Star Wars movies. What they didn't mention was that only non-Star Wars fans would like the new Star Wars movies. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm going... I'm probably harping on the new Star Wars movies too much. I am out of fuel almost, so, you know, if I'm going to run out of fuel, it's better to do it in the nebula than... Otherwise, so. What two Seki sector with bad trap jump routes? Well, this one, this one at least is not as big of a trap, I don't think. Not as bad of a trap, anyway. Okay, and there's good. That's good, dodges. All right. Not bad dodges there. Ah, crap. I did it again. I'm just so slow today, man. I haven't played no pause in too long. I'm getting I'm getting rusty. All right, we got the weapon offline before we could fire it. Okay, let's just turn this on now. So we don't screw it up again. Okay. Alright, we got a fuel there. That's good. I have vague, vague memories from five years ago or something where a boarding drone blue option breaches their hole and gives you less reward for it. That sounds about right, Migronix. I think that might be what it is. You do a lot of audio editing, but man, my video editing skills suck. Yeah, I'm kind of the similar way. I'm I'm much better at audio editing than video editing, but I've also done a lot more audio editing. Editing, so okay. I could get second shield, or I could get a weapon upgrade. I'm really hoping for a store that I can trade out these things, though. I'm gonna do this so that if I want to use it, I can. If like I need to, because I have three shields or something. Casual adventure, realistic because all enemies could die in one lightsaber swing, but they have other counters to the fight scale. Interesting. I'm going to go for this. I have a lot of crew. 50 scrap. Beautiful. Desert Eagle. I thought you'd streamed once or twice, but Desert Eagle definitely doesn't like do a regular stream. I feel like I remember you doing that at some point. I right, just turn this on now so I don't screw it up with my lazy... Lazy late defense drone usage. You don't think you'd enjoy it that much? You'd rather play games without people watching you? Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a different kind of stress, streaming is. It's fun. But I tell you, I get tired after streams, man. In my case, I think it's because I treat it... I'm basically trying to perform the whole time. So it's like being on stage for six hours. And that's tiring as hell. Uh, I'm not sure about, but on the wiki it says anti-personnel reward is scrap, and boarding drone rewards is some scrap. I think, I think some is more than, or is less than scrap reward. I know there's high scrap rewards, and I think there's small scrap rewards, so I don't know. Pie Boy's going pretty good. We're in the middle of our current challenge of doing the three ships in a row here. Three ship streak, our Three for three streak. So if I do this, I think I can get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's close, but I think I can get six here. Although if I run out of fuel, I'm screwed. Dance for us, dancing monkey man. <laughs> then there's that aspect of streaming. 
Dance, Derek. You're a monkey, Derek. Dance. I half want to watch the stream and half don't want to stop playing football manager. So now I'm in a really awkward situation where I'm doing both, but really doing one. That probably made no sense. Yeah, I don't quite understand what you said there. I have a hard time playing video games and watching a stream too. Usually when I'm playing a game and watching a stream, I'm not doing much watching and I'm doing more playing. <laughs> so... I'm not good at dividing my attention, though. You'll get some food and be right back. Uploads 45% done. Nice. There's Eagle. Farb. Uh, are you calling me Farb McQueeb? I am not Farb, although I know I look similar. Okay, store. We can get fuel so we don't so we don't dive. That's great. New from YouTube. Welcome, Cal Winters. Welcome. Welcome from the land of the YouTubes. Okay. Um, this store has nothing I want. Literally nothing. Okay, well, except fuel. I guess we'll be happy with fuel. I'm going to sell the Artemis and just use the small bomb and get, like, second she or, uh, third shield online. So, get okay, one power, third shield, and another power. Uh, let's get two power. Let's go with that. Whenever I hear Farb from YouTube or stream, I think of the speedrunner Farbian. Is that an FTL speedrunner or just a generic speedrunner? Like, or something. I think I need to refeed the cat. Okay. My version is done. Can I get a link permission? Sure. Uh, God. Well, there's enough fuel to get out. Please don't give me a map. Okay, a whole beam is fine. And we got a store right after. That's actually fine. Actually, whole beam is an upgrade from pike beam, isn't it? Oh my god, they have drone recovery. I'm in a whole repair drone. Jeez. Not the FTL guy. No, su okay. Farbian runs Super Mario Brothers, huh? Proof ran looks like Farb. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, whole beam's just more damage. It's a shorter beam, but... I do way more damage. Um... If I sell this, that gives me 73 scrap. I could get the drone recovery arm, but I couldn't get the whole repair drone. I think I'm going to get... Mm, then I can't buy any fuel. Ugh. I want to get those things. I just can't. What's the aiming time for the beams? Um... I think they're similar. I think this one's 14 and the other one's 17 or 15. I think they're within a second or two of each other. You haven't seen him on up in a while? Oh, are you talking about the Farbian guy you haven't? Man, I've only had that scrap on the previous jump. Rock control to rock home worlds. Well. So many choices here. Rock home worlds quest is the one where you out survive them. And I do have a rock, because I think you need a rock for that. Problem with that is I don't get any more green sectors if I go rock home worlds. Man, I feel like it's been a long time since I've seen rock home worlds. Another reason why the crystal thing's so so hard to make happen. All right, let's go rock home worlds. Why not? I learned to love bombs. I mean, missiles should not be the main damage source of your ship, and bombs have a more satisfying sound. It can't be blocked. Yeah, there's a there's a lot of reasons to like bombs over missiles. One of my favorites is they bypass defense drones, so. Homeworld's obviously got to get to that crystal sector. <laughs> That's right. And get right on that. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this setup here. Okay. I only need two shields. Get our defense drone. Mind control the pilot. Bomb shields. And hope those two shots hit. They actually hit. Okay. Alright, no dodges there. Beautiful. Mind control with bombs tends to work well. Yeah, for sure. 
I mean, my control works well with a lot of things. One reason why I like it so much. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna be I'm not gonna be too crazy on using my bombs here. I need to go crazy just because we got one dodge there. There we go. Beautiful. He didn't even try. Frickin' Steve over here. It's like it's so far away, but oh my god, another flak. <laughs> Free flak. So much for bombs, guys. So much for bombs. I I only get flax on this stream. I only get flax. They call me Rand Flak 118. Does Zoltan Shield bypass a lot of bombs to go through Zoltan Shields? It does, yes. Praise R and Jesus for the flackening. Alright. One power. Power. Flak burst laser whole beam. Alright. We ready for the boss? Just about. You called it earlier? Did you call a flak earlier? <laughs> oh god, he's got cloaking and four, five, six, seven or eight power weapons. What the hell, game, seriously. Please hit the missile. Please hit the missile, you stupid defense drone. Okay, thank God he did it. Mm. Alright, we dodged the missile. That's good. He's got, he's got cloaking with this insane weapon system, too. Uh, this is uh, normal difficulty, by the way. Sector 5? I think this is Sector 5. Normal difficulty, this ship layout, by the way. At least didn't hit my weapons there. Okay. Um, let's move power here for dodges. Very nice. Defense drone is a frickin' failure. Gonna cloak. Should have my defense drone back up in time, though. So is that a one? Da so that's a one damage missile. So this is a seven seven weapon power ship in sector five, I believe. But who's counting? You know, who's counting? Gotta go now, lads. See everyone. All right, Diggle time. Have a good one, my friend. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you later. You count it, me too. <laughs> I count it too. All right, let's go one, two, three for the store here. Can I be a new holiday? Holiday where we can today be a new holiday where we celebrate flax? Sure. I feel like every day should be flak day though. Defense drone killed itself. It let the missile hit the drone control. <laughs> killed himself. Okay. All right, I think I am gonna wait here. The heavy lasers might fire before this missile. Or they'll probably fire at the exact same time. And then I have a chance of either laser hitting this thing. Okay, good. It didn't. Whew. That is a big old missile, man. Now, this defense drone's doing work. You're no Steve. Are you a Steve? I hope you're not a Steve. Let's go ahead and kill him. We won't go for crew kill there. Merry Flakmas. Happy Flak Day. Merry Flakmas. Um, hyper Flacula. I don't know. Hans brings the flak. August 15th is now the official Flak Day. <laughs> How do you rate Captain Edition mod? Do you like it more or less than base game plus advanced edition? Well, less, but it's I wouldn't call it a side by side comparison though. Demand they pay. Nice reactor upgrade. Um, because I don't think you can call a mod of any of this. Of, I don't think you can call any mod of this game better than the 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 big the, the actual game. But it's good if you've played a whole ton and you want a lot more uh, variety and different weapons and more challenging events and stuff like that. 
Do I keep the small bomb? Small bomb's probably worth keeping. Just happy flackening. Happy flackening. <laughs> Cloaking would be amazing. Hacking. Hacking is good. Do I only have room for one more system? I'd actually rather get cloaking than hacking. By human and instant vented. <laughs> you know what? I probably should get hacking, though. We're not going to get a full on flackening twice in a row, so having this for shields is going to be useful. Two fuel, two repair. Okay, we'll call that good. Do you have backup battery? No. Happy flackening. I like it. Three to three. Um, is that what I called it? Three, four, three. It should be three for three. Did I do three, two, three? Three for three challenge. Basically, one second. Let me deal with this border first. Basically, we got to get uh, three ships in a row of each type. And we get to choose which one we play on normal, which get we play on hard mode, which we play on easy mode. But if I lose any of them... Then uh, we have to start it over. So it's kind of a combination of a challenge plus a streak. Okay, pretty nice there. Although, it's a lot of lasers. Good dodges, though. Good dodges. I hope it helps. Okay, cool. Desert Eagle, I'll watch that. Um, you know what? Do we want to watch Desert Eagle's comparison together? Thinking of watching it together. I've been playing Caps Edition. How long is it? Oh, did you do one too, Cryo? I missed it. It's a minute. You know what? Because we've been talking about this on stream so much, let's watch them both. I want to check these comparisons. So, short commercial break for YouTubes. Uh, let me pull it up here real fast. Let me uh, change my scene as I do this. Let's, let's watch these two videos so we can have a definitive answer. Uh, let me pull up the link here. I have to, like, type it in manually unless I do a... Let me just... Uh, if I bookmark it to stream stuff. Will it transfer immediately over to here? Uh, let me reload Google. This might work if I reload Google. Poor quality live on stream. Live on stream, poor quality. Hey, you submitted it. I love Google. Um, yeah. Okay, here we go. We're gonna check this out. So we're gonna we're gonna check out. Hey, this isn't bad quality at all. Here we go. Let's check this out. This is Desert Eagle's test for hacking timing. I'm gonna click on Cryo Shakespeare's. So we can watch yours too. Hello, let me click on this thing. Click on the thing here. All right, cool. We'll be able to see it in two different versions. Let's check it out. All righty. Level two hacking on the weapons. You think, you know, you do think those side by side is at least informative? Yeah. Okay, so this is, I guess that's five seconds. The comma makes it look like there's a thousand seconds or something. Okay, so it's taking. So I guess we're doing time to first shot. 18.776 seconds if you do it immediately. Okay, cool. I like your four shields plus Zoltan shield, by the way. Um, heavy laser. Are you comparing the two heavy lasers? Is that what you're doing? Did you do it when the missile fired? I guess the missile and the heavy laser probably had the same charge time, huh? Oh, heads over the timer. Sorry. It was like 18.76 seconds or something. Oh, wow. 21 seconds. Okay. So that is a good three seconds faster. So what is that? About a 10 to 20% uh, more time. Okay. Let's check out, um, let's check out the other one. That's super helpful, by the way. Thanks for doing that, you guys. Let me get the other one, and we'll see if we get a similar result here. Okay. And let me pull it up on Google over here. My bookmarks from our stream stuff. 
Okay, let me pause it so we can watch it together. Okay. Here we go. Let's check it out. And it's only level 2 hacking. Yeah, so you probably want to check. Okay, you you also did it for level 2. Is this the same one? Crap, this is the one you just did. This is the other one. Hold on a sec. Did I not? Uh, here, it's this one. Here we go. Okay, let's go back to the beginning here. This one's only 26 seconds. So we got a test ship. Well, you have... It looks like you have SMPK or a Captain Edition installed. What level hacking are you using? Uh, I can't tell what level hacking you're using. Yeah, yours, uh, your quality not quite as good, but... You're doing level one hacking, okay. You liked your own video? You should totally like your own videos. I feel like it's it's showing that it's actually way better on slower charging weapons, actually. Okay. Yeah, that quality. But hey, guys, go like those videos. Very informative. So we now know, definitively, it's better to hack at the last possible minute because it makes their weapons take longer to charge. Yeah. 10 second difference between waiting and not. It seems like... It's better on slower weapons. Although maybe over time that would change. But uh, that is a pretty big difference. I, I guess I just can't believe everything Frag says, Frag says now. We have, we have video evidence. If you had higher level hack on a slow weapon, it would be even more pronounced. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> my, one of my favorite blue options. A Manta ship here is adorned with rock body parts. It would be a gory display if they had any had internal organs, but the message is clear enough. This is a hunter of a very specialized kind. Put your rock crew member on the comm. The two aliens face one another over the vid screen. Cave dwelling pebble man yells the furious mantis captain. See, I paint my ship with your companions. I paint my ship with you. <laughs> I love that. Uh, that cracks me up so much. Uh, I did not have my people in place for anti-boarding. All right, it's fine. Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do mind control so they fight each other. Send the rock crew, the human, and the two NGs in there. Oh, only one NG can fit. Okay. Uh, go in the sensors. Do I need to hack here? Um, uh, Probably not. We'll just use our defense drone. Uh, I like the Ram Bastard Blue option for this ship. <laughs> Ram the Bastards. Uh, isn't that... Isn't that if you have rock hull plating for that one? Your stream is buffering. Uh, she just noticed my video compared two heavy ladies, but the second one was an auto scout and was therefore not manned. Well, if it's hacked... It shouldn't matter except for the slight time before you got the hacking on it. Because a hack system is the same as a system with nobody on it. I believe that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I'm pretty sure a hack system is the same as there not being a person manning it. Yeah, so should be good. The only slight difference might be the, like, second or two before it was hacked where the charge had gotten a little bit further. So you're pretty sure the auto scouts are treated as manned. Really? Really? I don't know if I knew that. Okay, 99 scrap. One, two, three, four. So if there's a store up here, I have gotten a store already. Do I want to just get the small bomb online? Or, you know what? I probably should upgrade my hacking, is what I should do. They receive the manning bonus for all undamaged systems, even while hacked. Really? Even while hacked, huh? Scrap it. You post the link. Uh, you're a you're a mod. Uh, you're a sub, so you could post it without needing uh, permission if you want to do that. I believe you, though. I don't. I don't know the specifics of that kind of stuff, so I definitely would take your word for that. Uh, I don't think we can get more than five here. Please don't be too late for the big giant missile. No surrender. Good job. 
Maybe that was why the difference was only three seconds for Des Eagle, even with a level two hack, while yours was ten. Yeah. We might need to do the comparison between two two auto scouts and two um, manned ships to be able to see uh, one, two, three, a more even comparison. Does a hack drain at the unmanned charge rate? Yeah, that I don't know. Search for the ship. Apply free hull damage. Okay. I explain how the difference on the first video was much smaller. Yeah, because the um, the hacked weapon system on the auto scout was considered manned, and the one the other one wasn't. Long range scanners, glaive beam, chain laser backup battery. All right, there's some good stuff here. I'm gonna need fuel as well. Let's get backup battery. Uh. I'm not going to go for Glade Beam. This is definitely not a Glade Beam type of run. Okay. Fire Beam. I mean, that would be an 8 power weapon system. I think I just want to get Small Bomb online and be and be good with my offense here. Because this is definitely not bad, especially with hacking. Can't believe I still learn new stuff about this game. I know, right? It's crazy. I'm going to sell 10 missiles because I'm not going to be using bombs that much. But, oh, Rebel Stronghold. This might be forcing me into a Sector 7 Abandoned, by the way. So if Kenny's around, you're welcome. Here's something I've always wondered. Do NG put out fires faster? They do, and Mantis suck at putting out fires. Okay. That is some kind of something I've noticed and felt like it's that way, but I've never tested it. I also didn't know that Crystal Dudes put out fires slower, too. Flagship and AI mode has also some street as man, so try to leave one crew alive. Well, that I knew. That's that's that is something I've known for like ever. But yeah, that's that's a good good other thing to note. All right, I should go for piloting with my burst laser, and my whole beam here. These weapons are not able to get through shields, so we can do this. Beautiful. No more doges. You don't think Kenny is here? We would have seen the eyebrow emote. <laughs> well, he, he might be here sleeping. I am his ASMR, by the way. He is one of those who goes to sleep watching my stream. Also, crystals are bad. So, what's the what's the comparison of fire putting out speed between, like, crystals and mantis? Are they the same? Or is one slower than the other? Well, that's a dead end. Okay. Um, actually, I want empty jumps here. I want empty jumps for the under construction flagship. Humans are secretly 50% worse at everything. <laughs> Jettison at earliest availability. You think mantis are worse? Can't confirm. Okay. All right. Let's go for this. Do, 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 do. Let's do this. Fight each other. Um, do I use defense drone? That is the question. To defense drone or not to defense drone? That is the question. It'll save me at most two damage. Or do I just hope for dodges? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna save the drone part. Are his weapons slower in normal difficulty? Cause he never fired there. What? Holy crap! Are the flagship weapons worse in lower difficulties? Cause he didn't get a single missile off, and that was very strange to me. Don't know why, but you like Lanius the most. My guess is that Mantis and Engie just apply their repair penalty buff to firefighting as well. I could I could see that. That would make sense. Almost time for Type C. Almost. Almost. Do I want to use this whole Smasher laser? 15 seconds for three shots. I mean... If I were to go to Flak, whole laser, whole beam with hacking, 
We could do a lot of hole damage, actually. And if I added small bomb in there... Huh. What about a, what about a crazy hole weapon system here? 14, 15 seconds. This could work pretty well with hacking. Does the unfinished flagship also have the autopilot after crew kill? No, it just dies when you kill the crew. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I couldn't do the burst laser two plus these, but I could do this as my weapon system and just like, how much hole damage would this be on a volley? If he has no shields, three damage, six, nine. If I hit four empty rooms, that would be eight. So 17, so 17 in a volley. You gonna sleep and listen to you. Hey, there is Kenny. See, Kenny's still around. 17 in a volley compared to three, uh, six. No, three, yeah, three, six. Thank you for the follow. Thank you for uh, Vice Admiral Kerr, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I don't, I don't do whole damage and whole, whole weapon damage enough. I'm gonna give this a try. Not the real Kenny. Where's the eyebrow? There's the eyebrow. He's real. It's the real Kenny. Oh, God. He's trying to run. And I do... I get whole damage weapons against a freaking auto scout. All right. I need to swap back. This isn't going to be good against auto scouts. We're just going to fight a bunch of damn auto scouts in the... In this sector. Oh, thank God we dodged that. Now you're tempted to include the Lania sound in a song remix? The Lania sound? What's the Lania sound? Oh, that breach, though. Nice. Get breached, bro. Are you talking about the uh, Lania soundtrack? Or the Lania uh, sector music, I guess. Okay. They breach. That's true. They do breach. But the whole beam doesn't. So it might actually be better if I'm going to fight a bunch of auto scouts to use burst laser 2 instead of whole beam. Maybe I even like this better. Just have a bunch of shots and don't use the whole beam. I don't know. We'll have to mess. I'll, I'll like try out all these different weapon systems. It's not like I have to choose anytime soon. This repair stone. This repair sound. Oh man, you could totally do a remix with that. <laughs> That's awesome. A lot of depth in FTL strat today. Yeah, we're we're learning lots of things. I'm learning so much, you guys. I'm learning so much about FTL and FTLs and things. Okay, he's not running, so let's just go for his shields. Nice. Wow. Three whole laser two shots and not a single breach. That seems kind of unlucky. No, it's also unlucky having a Steve drone on your team. 20 minutes of that, you monster. <laughs> 20 minutes. Just add some beatboxing. Man, I would I would perform that song. At one of my Christmas caroling gigs. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Um, I don't want to use all my drone parts. I need to be careful that I'm not too... 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, too frivolous with my drone parts. If I go 1, 2, 3, and then across. Yeah, let's do that. Whole laser 2, 30% breach chance, and a separate 90%. Or a separate 10% fire. Okay. Oh my god. Automated reloaders and another burst laser. Oh man, there's like too many good weapon choices. You've never done this before, but I'm gonna try making a remix out of this. Alright, go for it, Ninja Kiwi. Alright, I think I think I sell whole laser two and go 
Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, Burst Laser 2, Hull Beam. I think that's what we do. I don't think this is too inefficient because we got a lot of those things for free. Autumn Raider Reloader is just too good with those things. We get one, one, uh, whatchamacallit. One, uh, fuel. This is a link to the FTL poem by Yahtzee. Thought you guys might enjoy. Two minutes. An FTL poem. Okay. I'm the captain of the pirate ship, and I am hailing the man who gave the command to blow off my wings and kill all my hands as firm reprimand for my hasty demand. Well, we'll listen to this as we, uh... Money and also your keys so that we Actually, I don't want to listen to this too much because I don't want to, another YouTube video getting my YouTube video, uh, <laughs> demonetized. So, I'm going to not listen to that. Sorry. I have to watch that after the stream. You did complain about no weapons at the start of this run. I did. So now they're just throwing weapons at me. Hey, if my complaining does that, I'll complain all the time. Oh, wait. I already do that. If there's a small bomb, why isn't there a big bomb? Uh, there kind of is. There's breach bombs. There's breach bombs. There's an ion bomb. And I think there actually is... I don't know if it's called a big bomb, but I think there's an upgraded small bomb in SMPK Insurrection or Caps Edition. One of the two big mods. Have you ever gotten four Burst Laser 2s? I think I've gotten that once. I think we tried to get that one time. Oh, we got a map. Okay. Sun. Don't care about a sun. Um, do you want to save up for the weapon? I feel like I feel like my offense is good. Let me get some. Let me get some defense here. Let me get dodge. And we'll go for the whole beam and have our full weapon system up. You already complained about RNG, so why doesn't that help? <laughs> I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I complain about everything. What are you talking about? I complain about all the things. I'm just a complainer. Whoo! Pop, 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 pop. Get popped, man. Listen to that sound. That was that was music to my ears. Whew. <laughs> Listen to that, man. Oh. Not quite as good as the <clears throat> of flack, but uh that's some pretty nice poppage right there. Pop and knocking fools. You're gonna go to bed now. Good luck and see you next stream. Alright, Ninja Key. We have a great night, my friend. Thanks again for hanging out, sir. Do, 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 do. All right, two more scrap when we get our whole beam online. I'll need power, but we're looking, we're looking good on this normal difficulty run. We just want to finish this so we can get our easy run through, got uh, done quickly. Double flak ones, eh? You know, I don't even want you to fire those like ever. And now we know when to do it, guys. We know when to do it, right now. You prefer the hole breach sound? Hole breach is pretty good too. Four times burst laser two is really fun. Almost as uh, almost as fun as four flak four flak ones, if you dare say so. <gasps> oh really? Yeah, I bet it's pretty awesome. I haven't got it as much because burst laser twos are way more rare than flak ones. By the way, that's why you don't see that's why you don't see a bunch of burst laser twos usually to run. I think it's like Flak 1 is the first rarity and Burst th Laser 2 is like 3 rarity or something like that. Uh, that is a Pulsar. I might want to skip the Pulsar. Alright. There. Power, power. Beautiful. What about a Breaching Flak? <laughs> oh my god. That would be so overpowered. Let's go for shields and piloting first. Oh gosh. Wow, those dodges though. Wow. Did I do two damage to him with flak double burst laser two? Well, congratulations on a million percent dodge, sir. Congratulations on that. 
Reminds me of a breach beam from I don't know which mod. <laughs> did you, uh, did Desert Eagle have a breaching flak? I don't remember all of... I, I, I remember a couple of Desert Eagle's weapons. I need to do some more Desert Eagle's weapons. Oh, will this give me more jumps? Okay, not bad. I remember the Stormtrooper laser. That was my favorite, I think. I think the Stormtrooper laser was my favorite. That was overpowered. You did have a breaching flak and it was freaking OP. Okay. <laughs> it's been too long since I played your weapons. I need to do that again. Oh, man. Freaking burst lasers and flak ones everywhere. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and hack your weapons too, man. I'm just going to hack all the things. I thought I was too early. I need to need to retrain myself to do it the efficient way. The OP Vulcan, that was the that was the one I was talking about. That was the uh, stormtrooper weapon. Ooh, I might could get a crew kill here actually. Damn. Crew killed him right as I killed the ship. Too much damage. The Breaching Vulcan. Best weapon of flak that starts fires, breaches, stuns, and it's ion. <laughs> you mean a weapon that just does all the things. Okay. How about it also bypasses shields like a missile? Okay. What do I want to get next? Um, level 3 hacking. Fifth dodge. Let's go level 3 hacking first so our offense is just completed. Don't forget the chain bomb. Chain bomb. Uh, I, I think I vaguely remember that. But if I get one weapon off the line, I should be safe. So I'm going to do... Try to get cloaking and piloting offline while I... Get one laser offline. We should be safe now. Do, 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 do. All right, let's wait for the cloaking. The only thing the chain bomb didn't do was breach. I'm yet to see an OP weapon that costs varying amounts of fuel. Fuel? By fuel, do you mean... Bombs? Or, like, actually cost fuel to use the weapon? That sounds terrifying. A weapon that makes you have to use fuel to use it. That would be crazy. Alright, I got four jumps here. One, two, three, five. Oh man, do I go pulsar? I do have hacking. Alright, let's uh let's get doors too, in case they have boarding. Let's go, let's go for the pulsar. Scary pulsar. Fires 10 clams in a small flak, one radius, and takes one second to charge if it's and it speeds up. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, a combat drone. Okay. Alright, I have to I have to hack his drone control. Because if that thing's online while the pulse after the pulsar fires, we are dead. I need to kill all this guy's offense. All of it. Okay, good. That's dead. Damn, I didn't get all his I didn't get his weapons there. Um, do I take the surrender just to not take a flak two with no shields? Um That's a pretty good deal. I'm gonna take that just so we don't take any damage here. Pulsars are just a being greedy at a pulsar is I feel like a way I could lose this run. Only shield piercing forward and shield bypass. What? It's not that good. Not that OP. Ten fuel nuke would be pretty hilarious. All right. Temple Bane, thank you so much for follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Alrighty. You know, I think I feel like I have enough to win. Do I get every jump? Nah, let's not skimp. Let's just do a couple quick jumps here. Capsule Edition has an augment which allows you to, you to target ASB on enemy ships. Yeah, I have done. 
I have used that one. That is a pretty fun augment. It uh, it costs you power, I think, if you choose to activate it. They have a couple augments where if you activate it at the beginning of the fight, it makes you not have as much power, I think is how they work. I'm going to take free stuff because you're cloaking and I just want to go and finish this run. Because <laughs> I do want to get the last easy mode run in. So if I can hurry up and finish this one. Hurry up and win. Pulsar. Oh, well, I don't have a choice. All right, I guess we're going Pulsar. Flax, look, Flax looks like it should have uh, consumed scrap when firing out. Yeah, a lot of people actually said, oh my god, another Pulsar with double offensive drones? That they think that a way to balance Flak is to actually make it cost scrap to fire. Wow. Wow, what the hell were those dodges? All right, we do have one shield online. And then that guy immediately gets two shots off. Wow. Great news for you, bro. No drone control for you. Stop having that. Not allowed. Thank goodness he didn't take more shields offline with that pulsar shot, too. Okay. That's two pulsars with no damage. That's pretty, pretty darn lucky. Anyways, I'll go to sleep now. Gotta get up early. Alright, we'll see you later, Desi Eagle. Have a great night, my friends. Really good to have you back at the stream when you when you're able to be here. It's awesome, man. Flack is balanced, to be fair. Really? You think it's balanced? I think it's pretty OP. It it Flack one and Burst Laser 2, I don't think are actually balanced compared to other ones. Okay, let's do that. Quest marker to my ship. Well, we're not doing that, so that was just a Spend a drone part for no reason. Do, 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 do. Lots of four shield ships, man. Do, 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 do. Bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, bum, ba, ba, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight power weapon system there. Do 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 I'm kind of losing this fight here. Wow, no dodges, or very few dodges. Do this so we can mind control these guys to kill each other. Oh, I mind control the guy who was dying as the teleport finished. Beautiful. Just, just what I was hoping for. Thanks, thanks for that game. <laughs> That's one thing I actually wish they'd change. I wish you could choose who you mind control in a room. When there's like eight guys in a room, I wish mousing over the person you want to mind control would actually let you choose who you mind control. <laughs> Give me flak and beam weapons all day. Yeah. Pretty freaking OP. All right. Store. Let's go store here and then across. True balance doesn't matter, but ideally suboptimal weapons should still be fun to use. Yeah. Um, defense 2 for more defense drone? No, I probably just want to get 4 shield before I do that. Repair. We have enough fuel. I could get... I don't really need crew since I have mind control. This might be the time to get clone bay. Just for lulls. And maybe a blue option. And more security for my crew staying alive. So we'll do that and we'll get... Fourth shield. Let's go ahead and do it. There we go. Said so most of the time you have to build around them and they're a liability. Uh, building around suboptimal weapons, you're saying? Yeah, it's probably true. Alright, no defense drone this time. Or no hacking drone, I mean. Ho oh, ho ho ho, man. It's been a while since I've had a couple burst lasers. That's 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 pretty satisfying sound. I mean, I love my flax and all, but that's pretty pretty epic. It really is hard mode that restricts you with them since your limited scrap has to be spent most efficiently. Yeah. And why this challenge is probably easier than some of the other challenges I've done 
because it's just allowing me to play on a lower difficulty <laughs> a lot of the time. Alright, so we're going to hole beam the piloting first just because that will reduce his chance to dodge some of my stuff. Oh god, please don't get my weapons. Okay, drone control, that's fine. No, that did not mean to do that. That was a misplay. Okay. Oh, okay. We did get the, uh... Get the uh, piloting completely offline, that's nice. Wow. Combat 2 plus Combat 1. This reminds me of our only combat drone challenge. It's pretty good. Not really a super effective at getting through four shields by themselves. I think you, we needed two Combat 1s and a Combat 2. Please don't be another Pulsar. Okay, four sh uh, Asteroid Field's fine. Okay. Don't mind control me, bro. Oh my god, that's triple ions. Holy crap. Oh my god, triple ions in a in a asteroid field. Okay, how about no ions? How about get out? Yikes. Thank god I had the four shields, man. Poof. Good thing I have an insane weapon system, actually. <laughs> I don't really have anything to be scared that that scared about. Okay, store for pre-igniter. Another automated reloader is great. Okay. Heal up to there. And then we want one more dodge. And power, and we're looking good. Alright, let us finish this run. Shooters on board. Frickin' humans, man. Frickin' humans. Get vented. Hashtag get vented. I need to actually swap you guys out. You guys should be like that. Ha! Huh, I think I actually take no damage from this. <laughs> Zero damage boarding. Get get wrecked. Alright, you're there. You are there. Third reloader incoming. That would be pretty crazy. Alright, asteroid field. Curious, does damaging an auto scout's piloting chains or dodge chance? Yes. Oh, uh below level Well, I know when you knock it out it does it does less dodge. I don't know about I don't know if level 2 piloting is less dodge than level 1 piloting. That I don't know. I've always just kind of assumed it did, but that's probably an incorrect assumption. Honestly, don't know the answer to that. Someone take, make a, test it, make a YouTube video. <laughs> that's what we're doing today. Today's all about testing FTL stuff and making YouTube videos. All right, let's go. Let's finish this run so we can do an easy mode run and have three wins for the day, even though my start of the day was terrible. Uh, have all of my missiles. Have all of them. I wish you could actually move around people while you mind control. Yeah, it'd be cool if you could control them. I would just be happy if you could choose who you mind controlled in a room, though, because one of my biggest frustrations is... Wow, the pace is really close to us. Is uh, mind controlling an enemy unit in a room... Where one of your guys is mind controlled. I hate that. Okay, so this is now just Value Point City here. Clone Bay. Mind control them out the airlock. That's right. Here, have a seat. Have a seat in this vacuum. Excuse me. Now, only three shields. I'll save a drone part. Hopefully we got a repair station won't be worried about that. We'll go ahead and use the defense drone, but not the hacking drone. Just love having hull beam and fighting not a single guy 
with an empty room. My favorite. You basically get whole beam for the boss and nothing else. All right. There's a pike beam upgrade at least. Yeah, it's true. Definitely better than pike beam, that's for sure. Is a uh, whole beam slightly uh, faster charge time, I guess. I mean, I had them both. I pick I think pike beam's 16 and whole beam's 14, I believe. Okay, it's pretty good weapons. Do I want to hack you? Well, I just got a bunch of drone parts there. Okay. Yeah, we're going to hack your piloting armor, your shields with three shields. Four shields, I mean. No surrender. Cause you gotta die. You gon' you gon you gon' die. You gon' die. Just telling you. Just telling you now, you you gon' die. Pike is sixteen holes, fourteen. Okay, cool. Alright, any final store? Looks like no store. We did get a repair station for uh drone. Did we get a repair station? Was that a repair station? I guess that's probably where I got repair station. Just not even paying attention to what I'm doing here. So I guess normal mode. I'm what? What am I doing? Don't even know what I'm doing. Yeah, I don't know. Galdar, I don't even know what I'm doing when I play the FTL. Galdar, Okay, let's get a defense drone for this. Because you got a missile and a boarding drone. And he's already out of drone parts. I swear the AI has way more drone parts and. Damn. Way more drone parts and way fewer. No, he has fewer drone parts than he should and way more missiles than he should have. No, way more missiles than he should have, way fewer drone... I don't know what I'm saying. The numbers seem wrong. Wow. Wow, these dodges. I'm trying to not use my drone parts here. Oh, so he got the boarding. Great. You know what? The whole beam is actually slower than the other thing, too. Whole beam is slower than pipe beam, so it's a little harder to get its damage through some higher shields or faster charging shields, I guess. Okay, there we go. MC the pilot. Yeah, it's true. I could have. I, I didn't do it the first time because I wanted them to kill off crew and whatever. Although that doesn't completely negate his dodge if he's got level 2 pilot. But yeah, I should have done that. Alright, one more jump. And then we will get just whatever extra gravy we can get here. You took zero damage. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Just trying to... I'm trying to greed my drone parts here. Probably not needed, but I'm just used to trying to play as efficiently as possible. Because it looks like we're not getting any more uh, repair stations. Oh boy. Get blasted, man. Wow, two jumps where we don't get any extra scrap. Because we don't have enough time. Let's get doors. Let's get... Um, I guess I get an extra dodge and backup battery upgrade here. I guess that's the best for me to get. Just be super OP on defense. You love the NJ anti-boarding. Totally efficient. <laughs> and there's a defense drone being up. Okay. Um, do I... Oh, yeah, because I have three NGs to deal with boarders. Yeah. Do I try to... Okay, I don't think uh, the defense drone will let the weapons hack through, and that's all I care about. Do, 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 do. 
Alright, I will mind control the pilot here. So I should be able to basically one-shot his shields, I think. Alright, there's the mind control hack. Wait. Wait, what? What happened to my... Shot my backup battery, you shitty game. God damn it. Okay, alright. Well, at least we still got our full volley through. Freaking backup battery. Messed up my hack there. Alright. I should be able to two-shot him, though. Still, that's really annoying. And now I have no dodge. Zero missile dodges so far. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Not even a little bit surprised. Alright, I think we got one crew kill there. He did shoot down a missile or two, though, so... Wasn't the worst Steve ever. He didn't let my uh, weapons get hacked, so I guess I'll give him that. Um, I guess I can do this jump to see if it's like a free repair or something. FTL, what's up, DC? How are you doing? Prepare to fight. Defense drone. Three shields. So I'm going to not use a hacking drone. I should have plenty of drone parts, but just in case. Okay, mind control. You in the fire. What? He didn't even try to shoot. Okay, you're a piece of shit, man. I just took four damage I shouldn't have taken. Shouldn't have taken because this defense drone didn't even try to shoot that crap down. What the hell, game? Yeah, I should still be fine. Well, three damage. Which missile? I don't even know which missile that was. Big giant one. Kenny made that drone. <laughs> Damn you, Kenny. Okay, well, I can get even more dodge. Is there anything else I really care about? Not really. So when our backup battery's up, we'll have... 51% dodge. Can a defense drone to shoot attack drone laser down? Um, yes, occasionally. It depends on how far away it is, I think, in the angle and stuff. It's not something you can like consistently count on, though. My god, that's a weapon system. It's 8 power. It's pretty darn good. We're playing on normal difficulty, though, because of our challenge. Don't give it too much credit. This is normal because of uh, our current challenge of three for three. Trying to get three wins in a row with the different ships, and I get to choose one difficulty for each of them. Oof. Okay. I'm gonna kill your friend. Okay, didn't hit my weapons. That's good. Hmm. Trying to get a crew kill there, so I greeted there a little bit. I don't think we take extra damage for that greed, though. Okay, we're fine. So stealth C for hard. No, I'll probably, still, I'll probably do stealth A for hard. Stealth A is super strong. Stealth C will probably be normal, and then we do stealth B on easy. Just guess. Theory and practice are the same in theory, but not in practice. <laughs> okay. Sounds really deep, and I don't understand it. Cool. It's pretty cool, actually. I like this challenge. I think it's a cool challenge. It's, it's the closest I'll probably ever go to streaking again. Because basically, if I lose any of them, I have to do the cycle again. It's kind of a cycle streak. But, like, little mini cycle streaks. It was, um... Whose idea was it earlier? He, uh, he left a bit ago. I forget it. Can't keep... I can't remember everybody's names. The only thing I can get is drone control. Looking forward to watching you play Stealth C. You can't figure that ship out. Well, maybe we'll do the Stealth second. That'll probably be one of the harder ones because the Stealth B is so difficult. My memory is failing. That is not incorrect. The best kind of correct. Okay, and I'm probably going to be running here. Okay, hit our O2. It's not terrible. 
Uh, I should have already. I should have done that. Yeah, we're through there. Okay, mind control you. Come on in so I can kill you. Um, what's my best shot here? Hitting two empty runes with my... I'm doing... I guess it's there. Or can I do... There, that's probably the best one. Yeah, we're gonna finish this. <laughs> oh, this guy's gonna get blasted. Really good dodges. GG, boys. G freaking G. Two out of three of the cycle. The three for three. We're two for three so far, guys. Uh, football something? Yes, I, I can't remember his name. I, I'll, I'll know it as soon as I see him again. For some reason I hear weapons buffer on Stealth C as a popular first purchase. It's Stealth B, yes. Stealth C, I don't know about that. Um, Stealth C, if you get one more weapon power, and then like a heavy laser can be really good. That's kind of the same for... Stealth A2. What do you think is the worst ship in the game? Um, Opaio Manko. That's tough. My least favorite to play are probably the Slug B and the Rock A. Um, I know for Streaks, Stealth B is probably the hardest ship in the game for Streaks because it's so easy to get a ship that just one-shots you or can't deal with in Sector 1. This was normal. So I've done Kestrel B, hard, Kestrel A normal. So now we're going to do for Kestrel C on uh, easy difficulty. So let's check the store score. 50-12. Was this, was this Kestrel A? Which one did I just do? <laughs> Kestrel A, right? Uh, what's up, Cthulhu? So 42 ships defeated, 100 scrap, or 100 beacons. Look at that scrap. You can also see how score... Differences are on the different difficulties as well. All right, so real quick guys. I'm gonna stand up stretch you to rush him. Thank you all so much for watching I'm gonna get one more run in today. We're gonna go a little late probably unless I can make this a quick one So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this new three for three challenge I think it's kind of a cool idea and I'll be back and do one more. Thanks for hanging out my friends <laughs>